Hello from Fincastle Farm. Hope you guys are doing well this winter. Uh, I do not have a chicken, right? I am sitting here at the table with what appears to be a weird jar. Um, so what happened is I recently needed some vanilla extract and you know, I looked and looked in the store and thought, wow, there's different prices. You know, what makes a pricier um, vanilla extract? So then I thought I should make my own. So a couple weeks later, I placed an order and I'll, I'll put a link down in the comments on where I got my vanilla beans. Um, I ordered it from a company called uh, Injuries Vanilla. They're um, out of Utah. And what I'm using is called Starter Blend Vanilla Beans Intermission. So, I mean, when I opened these packages, I've never done this before. When I opened the package, guys, I could not believe what these vanilla beans smelled like. So here's one, I mean, you guys might know this, but I mean, here's a vanilla bean. So what you do is you take these vanilla beans and you soak them in alcohol. I'm using vodka, which is kind of the, the normal um, means to soak vanilla beans to get vanilla extract. Some people use rum or, or different liquors to get different tastes. But if you just want a normal vanilla extract, um, you can use vodka. So that's what I'm going to use today. And there's a chart which I can post on how many beans you use per ounces of fluid. And then there's something called single fold, double fold, or triple fold. And it's just how intense the extract is once it's set. So I'm gonna do double fold because it said um, double fold was used a lot for baking. So um, I know that my family will use this probably for baking. Um, so I'm just gonna do double fold to start with. So per the chart, I bought three ounces of vanilla beans. I'm going to use approximately one and three quarters cup of alcohol to soak them. So I'm using a mason jar, here it is. Um, I could have used something tall and slender and it would have made this easier, but I didn't have anything on hand and I wasn't gonna buy anything. So we, we like to use what, what's on hand here at the farm. So what I'm doing, so you have to have these vanilla beans be under the alcohol or the um, liquid. So some of them are really tall. So if I just stuck them down in here, you can see, you know, once I pour in one and three quarters cup, it'll probably, I would guess, come up to about right here. The beans are sticking out. So what you can do, now I could have bought a tall slender jar and it would have worked great, but that's not what I have. So what you can do is tie these vanilla beans in a knot. So you can see here's a knot and then you just drop them down in there because it's the contact with the bean. Like when, when the alcohol comes in contact with the bean, that's where you're gonna get your extract. So all I'm doing now is tying these so that they'll stay under the level of um, the alcohol. I'm almost ready. So to talk about how long this um, has to sit, it has to sit almost a year. Can you believe that? You know, a lot of things in homesteading are not instant results. <laughs> so I thought this is a great time because in about a year, so I did double fold and it's supposed to speed it up a little bit or just the intensity of it. So um, maybe it'd be ready by Christmas. So if you go ahead and do it, you may have Christmas presents um, this coming Christmas. And they say, you know it's ready when you can't smell the alcohol anymore. Um, but it is approximately a year, but the double fold will help speed it up. Some people said six months, and then when you saw the comments, they're like, ah, that's a little early. Did you really smell it to see if you could smell alcohol anymore? So I'm gonna pour one and three quarters cup. And like I said, this ratio would be different if you were not doing the double fold method. If you were using the single fold method, you could actually use more liquor per beans. So I'm gonna pour this in and pray that they're all under, nope, do you see that? So see, some of the beans are still sticking up. So I'm gonna go, um, I'll probably pull them out and push them and make sure the knots are tied great. Um, some of them I didn't tie the knots in, so I might need to pull them out. 
So and then I'm gonna put a lid on this and they say, I mean, you can shake it every now and then, but really you don't have to do anything with it. It does need to be in a semi-warm environment, like you wouldn't wanna put it in your cellar or um, in the basement if it's cold. So I'm just gonna put it in the kitchen cabinet and we'll see how it goes. So anyway, I'll put some links in the comments. Why not try it, guys? I mean, it smells, it smells incredible. So anyway, hope this inspires you to do something different. Thanks.